now let's move on to another problem that is reliance mutual fund rmf treasury bills and sensex have had the following returns over the past 5 years so year 2006 to 2010 reliance mutual fund returns are given so 8.4 to 18 treasury bills returns are provided from 6 to 9.6 for all the 6 years and sensex that is market return that from 6 to 14.4 so treasury bills indicates rf risk free rate and sensex indicates rm return on market and this is rj usually written on security or written on fund whatever we are going to use that is your reliance mutual fund okay now evaluate the performance of rmf using jensen's differential index and comment on the result so here whatever the data has been provided to you by using jensen's differential index that is nothing but you are supposed to calculate the alpha of the jensen's performance index and then you have to rank the you have to say your opinion upon that so that's how we are going to use this so just see jensen's performance index is calculated as rj equals to alpha plus rj means your reliance mutual fund alpha we have to calculate then rf risk free rate of return beta j so beta of the security rm and rf so we have to calculate alpha and we have to calculate beta so in order to calculate alpha first we are supposed to calculate the beta why because we are provided with the information of return on market risk free rate of return and return on securities for 5 years so first and foremost step is calculation of expected return on portfolio expected return risk free rate of return and expected market return we have to calculate so here 5 years there data has been considered and i have calculated expected return on portfolio that is nothing but summation by number of years rf same summation by number of years and rm adding all of them and dividing by 5 so i got expected return on portfolio expected risk free rate of return and expected market return so first step is completed i have calculated expected return risk free rate of return expected market return and expected return on portfolio so next step is calculation of beta so how beta is calculated already we have discussed in the earlier problem that is beta is equals to covariance between security and market by market variance so based upon the information provided to us we have to calculate the risk of security we have to calculate the risk on market and then we have to calculate the covariance so first step of calculation of risk on security is rj minus rj bar so individual returns minus expected return so that is the first step rj minus rj bar and the next step is you have to square means how much expected is deviating from realized or actual return so that is what rj minus rj bar indicates then squaring the deviations summing up them and dividing by number so summing up them and dividing by number will give us the variance so root of variance is standard deviation so this is how we have calculated the variance on security in the same way for market rm minus rm bar so independent or actual returns minus expected returns how 
the expected returns deviated from the actuals that we have done and squared them sum them and divided by number will give market variance so i got market risk uh, sorry market variance and portfolio variance now covariance between portfolio and market the formula for that is rj minus rj bar the deviations of those two so before squaring them whatever we have calculated that multiplied okay rj minus rj bar into rm minus rm bar so after multiplying them sum them up divided by number will give covariance between portfolio and the market now distributing this in beta formula covariance by market variance we got a beta of that as 1.23 reliance mutual fund beta we got 1.23 now by using the jensen's performance formula rj minus rf is equals to alpha plus beta into rm minus rf so by substituting the values and simplifying them we got alpha equals to 2.3256 this means out of the return whatever the security the reliance mutual fund has got 9.84 in that 2.3256 is the contribution made by alpha that is excess return of 9.84 is because of alpha so alpha's value in that rj 9.84 is 2.3256 so it's almost around 20% of your return has been contributed by the predictive ability of the fund manager